Good evening, Rutherford County parents, students, and staff. I wanted to give you an update today, July 16th, on where we are in our reopening plan. So just to give you a little bit of an idea about the logistics behind our plan, we very much believe in a team approach. So we had our reopening committee that met in the months of May, June, and July. We has also had principal meetings uh, every Monday and Wednesday throughout the closure. Now our principals are working with our staff to make sure that we are doing what is best for students in a way that for traditional and distance learning can be successful. We'll also be launching several new frequently asked questions sections today. One of those with fine arts, another one with CTE, and then our last one with our special populations, including students with disability and ESL. A um, couple things we did want to share is our teams are developing mitigation strategies by each grade band. So for kindergarten through fifth grade, for sixth through eighth grade, and then nine, 12. If we think about kindergarten through fifth grade, Many of our classrooms are already self-contained where they have one teacher. Our third, fourth, and fifth grade classrooms that are in a team approach, they will often rotate within the same teacher or the same classroom and we will have mitigation strategies to help contain. In sixth through eighth grade, we operate in many schools where the same group of kids share the same group of teachers. And then nine through 12, our high schools are talking about going to a block schedule so that we would have less movement in hallways. Uh, when we think about our plan, we are going to have a district plan that we will be launching our document uh, after our school board vote on Tuesday. And then each individual school will have a plan that connects to that, that will talk about mitigation strategies for arrival, dismissal, classroom, whole group instruction, small group instruction, what it looks like in the cafeteria, and then hallways. Um, and then just lastly, we wanted to talk about what's the school day look like. When a traditional sense, it's going to be a similar approach to what you have seen. Uh, kids will still attend their classes. Um, their teachers may rotate instead of the kids rotating, but it is going to be a traditional format of in-person instruction. There's gonna be a little bit of time taken, of course, for cleaning procedures and protocols that they'll have to follow. For distance learning, we are going to have, of course, some of this live, some of this recorded, and then students going through content modules to ensure they're getting access to that. All of that to say, we're excited to reopen, whether that's in the traditional sense for your child, in the distance learning sense, and we look forward to serving you and your child throughout the next school year.